Hello everybody, thanks for joining me for another video on Hades. <laughs> okay, alright, alright. I know it's pronounced Hades by now. <laughs> this is probably the third most used sentence in my comment section. <laughs> so with this out of the way, let's talk a bit about cooking. The Pilgrim's Bounty event, to be even more specific. This world event, which was added in the Burning Crusade, allows you to bring up your cooking skill in a very fast and easy manner. It was updated throughout all the expansions, so even on Cataclysm, you were able to bring up your cooking skill to an amazing 420 skill points. So in this video, I'm going to show you how this works and how you can even make money while increasing your skill to a ridiculous level. So the world event usually starts at November 21st and ends at November 28th. During this time, you're going to notice some weird looking people running around the city with a big yellow exclamation mark over their heads. If you accept the quest they are going to give you, then it's time to move on into Elven Forest right in front of the Stormwind Gates. Once you arrive there, it's important, of course, if you have not done this by now, to learn cooking from this lady over here. On this character, my skill in cooking was already around 80, but please keep in mind that this guide or this method will work, even if you just learn cooking and your skill is still at level 1. Alright, if those things are settled, we need to move on and hand in the quest. You don't actually need the quest from those weird people running around to capital cities. You can start here if you want. So now we are going to accept our first quest, Spice Bread Stuffing. So to cook this meal and pretty much all the other meals that we are going to need for this journey, we are going to buy the Bountiful Cookbook, which can be found right at those vendors or in the little barrels around the table. Once you open it, you are going to find 5 recipes, which are crucial for the things to come. As you can see, the Spice Bread Stuffing only takes a cooking skill of 1, and since it's the first quest we need, of course we are going to start with that. We are going to produce around 60 to 80 Spice Bread, which in itself does not really have to do anything with the event, but will be a very important ingredient for our first recipe. Now we need to combine the Spice Bread with the Autumnal Herbs, which brings our cooking skill to around 100 and completes our first quest. After handing this one in, the follow-up quest pumpkin pie already awaits us. In order to do this, of course, we need to learn the recipe, buy the ingredients and, well, start cooking. Before you produce a huge amount of meals, always keep in mind to increase your cooking skill cap. This can get a bit expensive at the higher levels, but in a short while, I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks how you can make money while doing this event. I would also recommend to always cook a bit more than you actually need. This will come in handy later while trying to complete daily quests. Okay, so with enough pie in our bags, it's time to accept the next quest in line and who would have guessed, cook even more. Unfortunately, this time around, the ingredients are not as close by as we would like to and so we have to move on to Ironforge. But starting in Stormwind, the trip won't take that long, especially in Cataclysm where you have unlocked all the flight paths by default. You are probably starting to notice a pattern here. Yes, indeed, we are going to hand in the last meal, accept the new quest, learn the new recipe, well, and start cooking again. Here you can see me handing in one of those dailies I was talking about earlier. So even if it's already grey or green and you could already advance to the next recipe in line, always produce a little bit more and get yourself some fun loot, achievements and some experience. Another thing you can do here that I'm going to add just for completion's sake, it won't really increase your cooking skill or give you all that much except maybe for a few food buffs, but it's the quest sharing a bountiful feast. The more players will participate in this quest, the easier you will be able to complete it. It's basically just sharing food with others through hotkeys and hope they share something back with you. For me it took quite long, maybe you will have more luck. But yeah, it's all in good fun and I would recommend you to check it out. Same thing goes for the quest turkey hunting. It's really just about killing those birds that will spawn from time to time. The more you kill in a less amount of time, the higher your rank will get, which will lead to an achievement if you are really into it. But more importantly, once you kill them, you will be able to loot them and the meat you will receive here will be very important for a later recipe. So if you have some time, if there will be a new wave that spawned, I would highly recommend to collect a bit of turkey meat here and there. So before we are going to go back to Stormwind, increasing our cooking skill even further, we are going to buy as much of those cranberries as we can. You've probably noticed by now that the ingredients are really not that expensive, but bringing up your actual skill cap can get very expensive, especially 
at such a low level. So what we are going to do now is exploit the laziness of people, especially higher level players who are even too lazy to walk from Stormwind to Ironforge. All of the stuff you can buy here is tradable. So by buying a bunch of those cranberries, we are going to make some good money back at Elven Forest. Now, there are a few approaches to this. You have to decide whatever works best for you. For example, whispering just high level players or going all out like going public, informing as many players as you can about this huge opportunity of saving a few minutes of traveling time. In the end, I even just gave some stuff away, expecting a few tips in return. And with some slight exceptions, players were very grateful for this opportunity. I made a bunch of gold with this method, Although I have to say I also got pretty lucky like one player gave me 50 gold, which is something that is quite extraordinary, like you can't really expect that much. Usually you get around like 1 or 2 gold for let's say a stack of 60. But in any case it was more than enough in order to bring up my cooking skill even further and to buy a new bag, which was kinda like an investment in order to buy even more stuff later on and increase my storage space. One thing to keep in mind is that Hades is still quite fresh, so players don't have acquired huge amounts of gold which they are just giving away freely. But you can find a lot of high level players already who are very generous. Shout out again to Hadarian who really just gave me 50 gold for a few turkeys. Which brings me also to another point. Again, keep killing that stuff. Because with the turkey meat, you will be able to also make a few quick bucks. It's a very important ingredient for a high level recipe, which we are also going to produce later. But since it will provide a huge food buff, high level players are very keen on obtaining them. So with our already pretty high cooking skill and our bags full of money, we are going to make another journey. This time we are going to go to Teldrassil, around the gates of Darnassus to be more specific. Here we can find some sweet potatoes, which are the main ingredient of our fourth recipe, the candied sweet potatoes. Who would have guessed? Well, after producing a bunch of those and handing in some daily quests, we are going to stack up on the raw material here too. So pack your bags full of delicious sweet potatoes and head back to Stormwind. Now it's time to learn and produce our last recipe, slow roasted turkeys. This time you don't need to run anywhere. As I mentioned a few times in this video now, those turkeys are running around different places and are very near to all the pilgrims bounty locations. Cooking this meal will bring up your skill points by 2 for each, so you should make it to a skill level of around 420 to 425 in no time. Alright then you little Gordon Ramses, this is pretty much it. I hope you did enjoy this guide and did take away some useful information. It was quite some work gathering and editing all that footage together, so if you did enjoy it, a like would be much appreciated. Helps out the channel and me of course a ton. Also if I did forget anything, please remind me in the comments. I might add it later or like write a guide in the description. But yeah, without further ado, happy cooking and happy Thanksgiving.